Do y'all eat fish with head with the head on or, or the head off? That just pissed me off. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare too much. I know that I don't make things clear. Good morning, good morning, and welcome back. Welcome back. Um, it has been a few days and I'm just so glad to feel better and to be back. I have not picked up the camera in probably three to four days. I have been dealing with some, <sighs> my breasts have been engorged. They're much better. I was, I was, I was about to show y'all as, as if y'all can like tell, but my breasts have been engorged. They're, they're, they're much better now. I'm not in any excruciating pain. So I'm doing a lot better. So I'm able to like kind of get back to the regular scheduled program. So that's what we're doing now. Um, I just wanted to talk to y'all about that as a matter of fact, because I don't know, like some people, because I produce a lot of milk, let me move y'all back some. Because I produce a lot of milk, people are always like, oh my God, that's so great and it's so good. And you know, everything is pros and cons with most things in life. And it's pro because, you know, I have a lot of milk to for, for my for my child. But the con is because I produce so much, I, mean, I don't know if y'all can tell, but yeah, it's just, my chest is always heavy. Um, I'm just never like in a like a really truly comfortable state um, and then one of the downfalls is also that I was engorged the last like a few days ago so the issue how I became engorged um, my pump stopped working and I didn't even realize at first that it stopped working so I pumped you know like I was telling y'all I pump like every three to four hours like right now I'm trying to push it a little longer I've been trying to push it to like about five hours um, sometimes even six but so I went to pump I went to pump and I was using this Modella pump here just for anybody who's also like using this pump I was using this pump here and I went to pump and I just felt like after first of all it took me like normally I would pump like each side for about 15 minutes 10 to 15 minutes right so I had to pump like one side probably about like a half an hour, 45 minutes. And I'm like massaging, massaging as I'm pumping. And I still didn't feel like any real true relief. And normally like after I start pumping, like the first two or three minutes, I'll feel better. Like, okay. You know, like a lot of milk comes out in that first five minutes for me. So it was like, all right, now I feel relief. But probably five or 10 minutes had went by and I didn't feel really any relief. So I'm just like, what's going on? I wasn't sure if I was like just my, I've had a milk duct that was clogged or um, if my supply was just kind of decreasing and it was, it was like kind of hard to get the milk out. I wasn't really sure what was happening. I didn't. So I was just kind of troubleshooting. Um, I was just trying to troubleshoot. So then I just realized that like my suction on the pump wasn't it wasn't really good. So I'm sitting here thinking like, OK, I don't know what's going on. So I changed the tubing, this tubing that this tubing that comes with the pump and then it attaches to it attaches to this I changed this just in case there were like any um holes in the line that I couldn't see because that would cause the um the suction to not be as great I also went in and I changed this part here the membrane that's inside of the pump um so I changed everything I checked you know if there was any cracks or anything um with the uh, I don't know what this part is called but like I just checked everything to see if every you know it was all in good standing and it was so I wasn't sure what was happening and I just felt like the suction wasn't good um it wasn't like pulling me as much as it normally would um so that day went by and I was just like it was I wasn't miserable that day because I was just I just kind of accepted that each time I pumped I was going to take an hour versus taking 20 to 30 minutes right so it took me like an hour that a few times when I pumped and I did get some relief like I wasn't in excruciating pain after I would pump but I was just like I can't sustain this I can't sit here for an hour hour and a half and pump you know I still have other things other children and just quality of life I cannot sit 
and pump. I did not, not, I cannot, I do not want to. I do not want to sit and pump for four and five and six hours a day. Um, so yeah. And then my husband was like, why don't you try? Cause I did have another pump here. I had this, I have never opened it. It was, I don't know what it's called. Zomi, Zumi, Zami. Anyway, I had this pump. Um, it was still in the package and I'm just like, I only use the Medela because I was, I've always used the Medela with all my children. So I'm just used to it. But I did have this one here and I was just like, um, my husband was like, why don't you try this base, this base here and attach it to the Medela pump to see if that'll work. And I'm just like the first day he said this and I'm just like, no, cause you know, these companies, they're not going to make it like interchangeable. I didn't think that it would, I would be able to use my Medela parts with this, with this, um, I'm going to call called not a membrane, but this base i don't know we'll just go with the base <laughs> so i didn't think i was going to be able to use the pump so i was just like irritated and bothered and short-tempered really like that second day i was just miserable so i'm just sitting here i can barely move my arms because it hurts to move um and then i you know I was just taking a long time to pump so fast forward to like the second i think it was the second day yeah, the second day, like midday, I called Medela and I was explaining to them what was going on. She was like, kind of help me troubleshoot through the phone, like, you know, change this and do this and do that. So we did all those things. The suction still wasn't great. And she was like, I'm going to send you out some new tubing. And I'm just like, ma'am, we already changed the tubing. Um, it's not the tubing. So I didn't want to waste time with that. I didn't want her to send out new tubing, spend a day or two or three, however long it takes to get here. And then I still have the same issue. I already changed the tubing. So I was like kind of frustrated with her answer. And I'm just like, um, we sat here and we changed the tubing already and it's still not working. So I was just trying to figure out if you send out additional tubing, what was going to change? So I had to kind of like, re I mean, like recite her answer, I guess her solution back to her. And then she was like, you know what? I'm going to send you a new, um, what is this thing? Whatever this is, she's going to send a new base, um, so I was like, okay, because that's in my head, this is the problem. I think it was this. I thought it was this. So she said that she said it would take a day or two. And I'm just sitting here. I explained this to my husband, like, you know, it's going to take about two days to get here. He was like, well, let's just try this in the meantime. So I'm just like, okay, I'm just sitting here, can barely talk. I was literally sitting here. So he, he connected every, he connected um, the Medela tubing, this Medela tubing to this um zami thing and i um immediately I, you know attached it to myself turned it on we kind of we, was, we wasn't familiar with it so we kind of had to like just play around with it a little bit but this you cut it on here he cut it on and then you know you could change this change like the um how fast it goes using this here and then like the um the suction you can change it using this plus or minus i'm sorry it's not really you can change it using this plus or minus so i had for me i had put it on eight and oh my god i was so excited like the first minute i just like the first 30 seconds really i felt relief and i was just so excited i could talk again i felt like he was like oh now you now your attitude want to change because i don't know when like when you're physically in pain it was nothing i can do like i couldn't I couldn't laugh and giggle and joke because I'm like seriously in pain. <laughs> so once that, um, once I found relief with that, I have been using this ever since. So now I'm back and I'm better. I'm back and I'm better. And Medela, they did send out a new, um, a new base. Honestly, I haven't even opened the box yet. So I am going to do that just so I have two. But I love this too. I love this. I um, the day after they sent this, I um, I went out with a few of my friends and I obviously had to take my pump with me and I was like this is perfect this came in right on time because this is actually portable so I didn't need any cords I mean I took my cords just in case it died or whatever but like I didn't need any cords for this it sustained the charge the whole time so I'm like pro whatever this company is Zami Zumi I don't know um so yeah I've been using this ever since and I don't have any complaints so I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna keep obviously keep the Medela one the backup one. I'm going to open it and try it to make sure it works just in case something happens to this. I'm prepared, ready to go. But yeah, I was really happy that this was, this saved my life. So yeah, that was like a con, that's a con to, um, excuse me, uh, pumping 
Um, and just because that's something like I can't, I couldn't control. I don't know why the the pump just stopped working. Well, what the suction wasn't as great. I don't know why that happened. It didn't drop. It didn't like I didn't get water on it. Like I don't know what happened, but it just I guess it just gave up. <laughs> it said enough is enough. You're pumping too much, man. So um, I just been doing that, and that's that's it. So I'm happy that I am back in a better place both physically and mentally and i can carry on with the schedule program so with that being said i am in this vlog i think what are we gonna do what are we gonna do i can get back to this program i have i think the last one i was like starting with the kitchen so i'm gonna start like putting some of the kitchen stuff away and then go through and see what it is i still need to order um what else i think that's it so yeah, we'll do that and then I will talk to y'all later after those things are done. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I look exhausted because I am and it's not even super early it's 9 27 9 27 <clears throat> June 23rd 9 27 my um one of my girlfriends asked me to do to braid her hair it's hot outside she's tired of her hair being down <laughs> and I don't blame her because um I keep my braids too <clears throat> but <clears throat> I'm running a little late I actually told her I was gonna do her hair at nine o'clock <laughs> And it's almost 9 30 but pumping took me a little longer so got the milk oh and i know just for anybody else who pumps out there um i was using the lantanol it's like that purple i was using the like i think it's like lantanol bags and um i was finding that they were leaking a little so um and somebody told me that on like TikTok or something to try different bags because those leak and right like when she said it that same day one of the bags were leaking well like a few of them actually so i did switch over and i forgot that i, I had I already had these bags i just wasn't using them so i switched over to i think it's motif so i've been using these bags and i like them a lot better um they're a lot thicker and so are the medela bags so anybody that's pumping you might want to use like medela or motif um what other bags do i use I don't know but these these seem seemingly are like pretty good and then we have the milk here so i'm going to store these two bags it's about like um i put seven ounces in one six in the other and then this has seven ounces here so the baby will drink from this throughout the day probably over the next eight hours six to six to eight hours um but yeah i just wanted to jump on here real quick let y'all know what the plan is for today i did prep some crab cakes later so after i get them braiding if I feel like cooking, I mean, not later. Yesterday I prepped crab, crab cakes. So if I feel like um, cooking after I braid, I will probably show y'all that. But other than that, let's go braid. She wants small knotless, so probably about like the same size. Mine is actually not small. Mine is like almost medium, it's medium. So I'll probably do hers like a little bit smaller than mine. But let's go get started. Hopefully this doesn't take me all day, but Let's just do it. Did you see it? Did you watch Acrimony? You wanna watch it? You tell him he's all you see. Tell him you got his keys cause you thought he needed them. But he's not coming back again. So he's gone leaving then. You won't see him again. It was convenient. Be staying friends, and you know that, sweetie. You know that. Think you knew it before, but you just ignored that. So now you won't take back, but there's no refunds here. So you sort of hurt, it makes you see clear that you were just, you were just lost, you were just lost. But now you found, and you realize. 
you just ignored that So now you won't take back But there's no refunds here So you sort of hurt It makes you see clear You were just, you were just lost You were just lost But now you found And you realize it wasn't at all Like what you created in your mind It wasn't even nice You wasted all your time You did Hello, 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 and welcome back. Excuse my bra straps, y'all. I didn't put on a sports bra today, and I'm not going to put on one. Anyway, I just wanted to jump on here really quick just to give y'all a quick update. And because I'm super excited. A package came today from Top Knot. Although this came, I still have to make another order, so whatever. But... I have been waiting for like the knobs to come for the kitchen. Like if you see right here, I want to put knobs on here. I ordered them a while ago. They were on back order. And like this week, I did receive notice that they were going to be delivered by like this weekend. Today is what day? Today's Wednesday. I received like a notice that they were going to be delivered, you know, this weekend. But it said that they was going to like email me when it was shipped and I never received the email. So I didn't know. I opened the door today and they were outside. So I'm super excited. Let's open these up. These are just the, the handles, the knobs from, um, from top knobs. I have to, I have to, um, order more. When I placed this order, they didn't have enough in stock, which is also telling of why it was back ordered. They didn't have enough in stock, so they only allowed me to order 11. So I actually need to go in and order about seven or eight more. So I'm gonna do that today. And these are the Garrison Round knobs from Top Knobs. And the finish is Honey Bronze. Yeah. All right, so let's get this open. It comes in this little package. Nothing major. It's a little white box. And I'm mad because when I ordered these, they actually had like, I ordered the, let me move y'all back some. I ordered the one by one, is 1.13 diameter. But they had one that's like one and a quarter. But I ordered these because it was, they were in, I thought they were in stock. I honestly would have ordered the larger one if I knew I had to wait anyway. But hopefully these are sufficient. Oh my God, it's so cute. Oh man, wait a second. I do like these, but this isn't like the same. Wait, hold up. I thought the finish was gonna be similar to like what I already have. But this is like a ribbed, a rib type finish. I don't know if y'all can tell. Ignore my nails, they need to be done, but y'all know. <laughs> so yeah, this is like a rib type finish. And the other one is like a, a knurl, like a, do I have a knob? See, this is the finish on the, the pulls on the cabinets. You see like that knurl type of finish. And then I'm gonna show y'all the finish on the, um, the knob that they just sent. 
And then this is the knob that came from, that they sent. This is the incorrect knob though. I mean, they look nice, but look at the finish. I'm gonna put it side by side with the um, handle. See, it's two different finishes. This is like a red look. And then this one here is like knurled. I was going, I wanted this this one here, but they sent this. Wait a second, Lawrence. And it's like, if I put it here on, let me zoom out. Let's zoom in. If I put it here on the cabinet, does it really make a big difference? Like, should I just keep this one? I think I'll be able to tell that it's two different ones, but I don't, I don't know if it's a huge difference. I don't know, what y'all think? Keep these or get the neural, the neural ones. I'm glad I didn't go bigger because this is a little, this is like a good size. So that's gonna go there. I hope I like it. Oh my gosh, I can't get rid of these flies. I'll be right back. The baby's, the baby's waking up. One second. Y'all, I knew I wasn't crazy. Remember, I just told y'all before I cut this off because the baby was crying. I just told y'all, I'm like, I don't remember ordering this finish. This is not what I ordered. I had to wait all this time and still didn't get the right thing. So this is the Dempsey round knob and one and a quarter. And I'm like, this is a good size, but like this, the, the ones I ordered should actually be smaller than this. Um, and this is the wrong thing. They sent me, hold on. I don't know if y'all can see. Let's see. Anyway, this is called Dipsy something. Like I can't read it. This is called Dipsy round knob and one and a quarter inch honey bronze. The color is right, but I ordered, on this order sheet, and then this is, I ordered Garrison Round Knob in the Honey Bronze. <sighs> They're stressing me out. Because now I have to call them. They sent me the wrong thing. Like, how do y'all? I don't know. And it's crazy because I was actually considering ordering this knob because the ones that I wanted wasn't in stock. But my husband was like, just, he thinks we should go with all the same finish and I agree so the garrison has this the the same finish as like these pulls like that neural that neural finish this is like a rib finish so I'm kind of since they're here I'm kind of tempted to use these just so I can be done I don't know I gotta think about it I'm thinking if I should use these and then just like in the future when the other ones are in stock maybe order those but financially, that doesn't really make sense. I should just get what I paid for. I was so excited and they sent the wrong thing. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. That just pissed me off. Anyway, let me put this back. Let me show y'all what I got from um, Home Goods a few days ago. Let me get this one out of the way since this has nothing to do with the kitchen. Well, it does have something to do with the kitchen. But anyway, I ordered some glasses. I was in home because I got a, a few different things, but these were cute. Had to get them. Let me take them out so y'all can see. Nice little glass. I haven't got back to drinking my wine yet because I'm still, you know, breastfeeding and things. I did have something to drink. I did have something to drink on Mother's Day. I just had the pump and dump. And then I had something to drink on Juneteenth. I went out with the girlies. But yeah, these are cute. I like these. Let's see if they'll, oh yeah. I love this. So yeah, four of these came in the box. But let me change the battery. My This camera is about to die. Story of my life. And then I'll show you all the rest of the stuff I got for the kitchen. All right, okay, 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 I'm back. Ah. Top knobs piss me off. Why do it still take two minutes? Did I put the same battery in here? Yo, I'm losing. I didn't, I changed it. 
It still says it's about to die. Hold on. I'm still trying to figure out this camera, y'all. I don't think my battery was dead. I think my SD card was full. <laughs> anyway, so back to what I was saying. So I got these um, glasses from Marshalls. I really like these. This is 16 ounces, so it's like two cups. So this can hold a lot of wine. And these were $19.99 from Home Goods. in case anybody's interested in those. All right, and then I also picked up this Stainless steel spray. This is pretty popular. I got this. I normally just use like some type of Windex or like glass cleaner on the stainless steel, but I was finding that it wasn't really working well on the um, the oven. Like when I cleaned the oven, it was leaving like streaks and stuff. So I tried this and it works really good. It works really well. This was $5.99 at um, Home Goods, so I'll probably keep buying this for the stainless steel. Then. For our storage, I've been looking for storage things. Y'all know I just need everything to be have a place. So I bought these for like under the kitchen sink. Under the kitchen sink, I bought two of these. And um, I'm not, honestly, I'm not even sure where I'm gonna put in here yet, but they're stackable so they can go under the sink. And then I also bought, I also bought these for under the kitchen sink. And this is just like a drawer. So it opens up. And I have four of these and you know, they stack on top of each other. So I plan on doing like two and then two. I really wanted to get six and just store everything in here. But um, the way my, the pipes are ran under the sink, they don't fit. So I don't know if I'm gonna actually keep these or take them back and get something a little bit smaller because um, these are kind of long, so like they don't fit perfectly under the sink and I kind of want them to fit perfectly. These are 13 by nine by five. So 13, length time, 13 long, right? Five high and then nine wide. Length times width times height. So yeah, they're nine wide. The, the, this, this, the width is good. It's just like they're too long to fit under the kitchen sink comfortably. So yeah, we'll see. But I want to put like the, the um, dishwasher pods in here. I want to put like um, washcloths or the sponges that we use, um, gloves, like whatever it is that I need to use in the kitchen. And then I want something to keep like the stainless steel spray, but I, I won't put it in here, but the stainless steel spray, um, whatever it is that we use to wipe down the counters and things like that. So that's why I bought these storage things. And then, what do we want to go to next? Just some spice racks. All right, this is nothing fancy, just spice racks. I don't, I probably won't, I might not use it for spices in the cabinets, but just so it's like tiered so I can see everything that's in the cabinet. And these came from Home Goods. They were $6.99. Both of these are $6.99. I don't know why. So naturally, my cabinets are this color inside, so I got this one, but I actually prefer the, the look of this one. <laughs> So I got this one, but why would I buy two different ones? Um, I don't know, we'll figure that out later. Then I got these. I got these for, um, to separate like the, the plates and stuff. This is gonna be cute. So you can just put the plates in here so it's nice and organized. Cause normally, like right now, I just stack the plates on top of each other, but it's kind of hard to take them out. This one, you can just grab it, pull it out, you know, it's good. I don't know what's going on with my camera, y'all. It says I have one minute left. So, let me figure this out. At this point, I'm just gonna make it quick so my camera don't cut off. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's what I got. I got these four for the plates. And I think I bought four of these. I have four of these. That should, that should be enough. And then, I was at Marshall's. Is it Marshall's? Yeah, I was at Marshall's. And I've been looking for pots. I wasn't sure which ones I wanted to go with, whether I wanted to get like another color. Like normally, well, currently I have like this, these pots, these are like Rachel Ray and they are, um, if y'all can see it like in the back. Rachel Ray, I actually have like some turkey tails cooking right now. I'm gonna make some string beans. But I normally use those pots, but I was like, I don't know if I wanna go with the color because I get tired of things so quickly. It was just like, I don't know if I wanted to do a color. 
So I went with, I decided I was either gonna do like stainless steel or like just black. And when I saw these in Home Goods, I decided I'm going with black. So these are the all clad, all clad pots. And they had them on sale. Well, not on sale, but they had them for a good price. This one was on sale. This is the eight inch fry pan. This was 13 bucks. So I got this. So I just bought like a whole little collection. I'm gonna sit them on the stove while I do it. And then I got the sauce pan with lid. This is a two and a half quart. So I got this one. And I have the lids here. Oh, I have the lids here in this thing that I also got from a Marshall's. It's just like the, it's just like, um, what is this called? A plate rack, but it's metal and it's black. So I'm gonna use these for the, the tops. So we got that. And then we got this one. Oh, how much was that? That pack was $20, $19.99. Then we have this one, this is a little bit larger. This is a four, four quart. This was $29.99 with the lid. And then we have another fry pan, 10 and a half inch. So this is probably gonna be like my go-to for like cheese eggs or something. Um, This one was $19.99. I was so excited with the prices because I felt like, um, I think like all together all my pots came up to like $200, so. It wasn't bad, especially like when I normally buy pots, they're like 200 for the set, but you don't get as many. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pots and six of them have lids. So it's like a 13 piece. So I felt like that was a pretty good price. Um, and then this is, this one was $39.99. This is a seven quart pot. So this is gonna be perfect for making those greens, the string beans or whatever. This is $39.99. And then I, I was, I like that I was able to pick out the pots individually because I kind of got exactly what I need for, for our house needs. Um, if I would've bought it in a, in a um, like a box, I wouldn't have got two of these and I need two of these. This is um, another like sauce pan, fry pan, saute pan they call it with a lid. It's four quart, four quart. It's really large and I like that. And I probably would make, honestly, I probably make the eggs in here or just whatever it is that I'm cooking in here. I, I use this pot a lot. Like when I make my pastas, the um, like the sauce and stuff like this, I use these type of pots. Um, so I would like to have some of them I got, sometimes I have to like cook and then rinse it out and then use it again. But now I have two, so I can just use that. So I'm happy that I was able to like kind of specify what it was that I wanted for my house needs. And those also came with lids. So I'm good to go. They had one more pot that I wanted to get. Oh, y'all bet. They had one more pot that I wanted to get. It was like a square one. I may go back and get it. Oh wait, and these pots were, how much were these? These were um, $39.99, so 40 each. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, they have another square one, it's about this size. It's about this size, maybe a little larger, but it's square. I wanted to get it, but it didn't have a lid. So I was just like, I kind of want that one to have a lid. So because the things that I would cook in there, I would want it to like have a lid. I would need a lid. Like I can see myself making like fish, I don't know, I can make it in these pots too. I don't know y'all, I may go back and get it. If I do, I'm just gonna accept that there's no lid with it. So we'll see. But that's what I got from Marshalls. So I purchased those one day, but then I was like shopping another day. And I saw some other things that I had to get for the kitchen that went with those pots. So I was like, gotta get it. Let me show y'all that right now. I had to get the matching utensils. I needed the matching utensils. So this is just the, um, 
what is this called? Spoon, but it says slotted spoon. So just a matching all clad, all clad spoon. It's really heavy, so I like that. Then the spatula to go with it. Same thing. And these are $9.99 each, so 10 bucks each. Spatula to go with it. Another spatula. The only thing I still need to get is I want to get a spoon that has like this finish, this, this black finish. So instead of it being um, stainless, I would like it to be black. So I want to find a spoon like this, but this finish. So I'm in the market to try to find that. So like when I'm cooking in the pots, it's not like scratching it up. I don't know. I don't want this, you know, I'm not sure if the stainless will scratch it. So we got that to go with the pots. So we had to match. So I decided as I was like shopping, I'm going to just go with like that whole black and brown theme in the kitchen. And then well, the pops of color that I'm gonna go with is just like probably some green. I'm feeling like greenery right now. So I think I'm gonna go with like green, but it's pretty much the kitchen is gonna be white, black, brown, and maybe a pop of green here and there. Also while I was in Marshall's, I picked up the citrus juicer. I already have one, I have a yellow one, but I'm gonna get rid of it. Or I don't know, I might just keep it, but pretty much I want all the um the extras to uh to match. So I want this black one. And then I got a new ice cream scooper. I went with this one. I like this. I feel like I probably could have found something better, <laughs> but I liked it. So I just picked it up. I was there. This is $5.99. This one was $4.99. And then just some dishcloth. So, like I said, I'm gonna go with that green color, like for the pops of color in here. So, it's just different. They got one with stripes, one that's just like a waffle type of texture, and then one with polka dots that has like different colors on it. So yeah, six dishcloths. These were, how much? $12.99. I didn't know this was $12.99. Child, I thought these was like $4.99. I should take them back. Do I love these for $13? I don't know. This is to be determined. I don't know if I'm keeping these. I didn't know they were $12.99. But anyway, I guess it's not horrible. Um, yes. Okay, just hold on. Um, that's pretty much it. I think I got some other things like a, I, um, like I want to say a candle. I was looking at the candles. I didn't get a candle. I got some soap, but I already put it in the bathroom. So I'm not going to go and get that. I don't feel like it. I think that's pretty much it. But the kitchen is coming together. All right, the next video is just, I don't even know if it's going to be the next clip. But the next stage in this kitchen is I'm putting this stuff together. I got to clean this stuff um, and put it where it belongs. Let me also show you all this. This is what I was talking about. This is just, I think it's metal. It feels like it's metal. It's just black. It says it's an organizer rack. It holds lids, frying and baking pans, cookie sheets, cutting boards, cook cookbooks, and more. Oh, I didn't consider cookbooks. I probably wouldn't use it for cookbooks just because I wouldn't have them out. Oh, I don't know. This was $9.99. I like this. This is a lot. I feel like I like this quality a little bit better than the wood ones. So if I see any more, I may pick up some more of these. But they only had one. The Marshalls I went to only had one. So yeah, I am going to put this stuff away really quick. You're just out the way. And then eventually, cause I don't have the time today, um, but I'm gonna start wiping all this stuff, getting all this stuff clean and putting everything where it belongs. So definitely stay tuned for that. I will talk to y'all a little bit later or the next day. Peace. Do y'all eat fish with, head, with the head on or the head off? I am about to season this fish, it's porgies. I'm about to season it and throw it in the oven, although it is like 100 degrees out. The air is on in here, so hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it don't start feeling like 100 degrees in the house. But I'm about to season this fish real quick and throw it in the oven. I hope I'm not like freaking y'all out because I know people who don't eat fish with the head on hate to see the head on the fish. But I'm gonna season this real quick, add this onion, some garlic, and then that's gonna be it. Dinner, we're gonna have fish, 
rice and string beans. Let's season this fish. I'm gonna start off with a little Creole seasoning. Garlic powder. Onion powder. I'm gonna go on with some cumin. I don't have curry, but I normally put curry on this also. I actually don't have pepper either, and I normally put pepper. So we're gonna use what we got until we get what we want. <laughs> um gonna go on with some coriander. Some turmeric. Y'all see that? Yeah, turmeric. Paprika. I'm actually going to use a little bit of smoked paprika too because I have it. Just a little bit because this. Oh, you don't need much. I top it off with just a little bit of salt. And bring out the flavor. Some parsley. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. That's it. Be right back. All right, y'all, so I seasoned the fish up. Look at this. <laughs> this fish look pissed off. <laughs> anyway, I seasoned the fish. I just added the onions. I added some butter. Did the same thing to both of them. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water at the bottom. Um, uh, yeah, not much. Just pretty much enough to coat the bottom. And I'm gonna cover it with aluminum foil. Put it, put it in the oven on 350 for about 40 minutes. <laughs> Yep, or until the um until the fish is like flaky. That's it. Dinner will be done. Do you hear me? And this little mean guy is gonna get eaten. Yes, you are. <laughs> That's a shame. They all look so angry. It is what it is. Rice done. Let me hurry up, my phone about to die. String beans done. Fish done. This one, I had to cut into it to make sure it was done. But yeah, everything's done. So don't put these. This one, I'm gonna cut it. 